This year is the International Year of Pulses. Events are happening around the world to raise awareness of the important role that pulses play in food security and nutrition. Being rich in protein, minerals and vitamins, pulses can form an important part of a healthy diet. We want people to come and see what they are eating on a daily basis. At this event, organized by the IAEA in partnership with the UN's Food and Agriculture Organization, people learned about the benefits of pulses and got to taste them too. Before I never used too much, you know, beans in my regular food, but no, I think I, I should, because it's not only cheap, but also very, very healthy. A nuclear technique can be used to develop improved varieties of plant crops, including pulses. It's known as mutation breeding and has been in use since the 1930s. The mutant uh, varieties of pulses, uh, they are more adaptable to climate change, uh, resistant to diseases, uh, and also they have high uh, yield and reach in minerals and proteins. Pulses also contribute to improving soil fertility. They absorb atmospheric nitrogen into their roots and release it into the soil, where it's available for the next generation of crops. This is a form of natural fertilization and reduces costs for farmers. A nuclear technique can find out which pulses are the most effective. By using uh, isotope of nitrogen, nitrogen 15, we can determine how much each type is fixing and that we can then transfer this knowledge to our member states eventually to the farmers that they grow those high fixing uh, variety. Pulses have been cultivated for over 10,000 years but it's only recently that their true value as a nutrient for both people and soil has been recognized. Now, pulses such as these lentils are seen as a powerful superfood and a key crop to sustainable development in the 21st century. From Vienna, Austria, this is Alexandra Anapanich reporting for the IAEA.